she asked um, our friend that was up there talking to her, and she asked for him to pray for the people who did this to her. What happened to Dorothy Dow was gruesome. Deputies say five people broke into the 83-year-old woman's home, beat her, robbed her, and set her on fire. But even on her deathbed, Dow's family says that she asked them to pray for her attackers. And that's why they are so upset about what some see as a white power rally near their mother's home. The city manager says the group promotes a white pride agenda. And tonight, Dow's family says they don't want to be a part of it. Well, Fox 5's Doug Evans reports now from Grantville. The city of Grantville has denied an initial permit to the Georgia League of the South. In its application, the group's chairman, Tom Davis, said the rally was, quote, in support of Dorothy Dow and in support of law enforcement. The Grantville city manager described what he believes the group's intentions are. I don't know anything about the group, although from the email that was sent, it certainly seems they're a white pride group believing in them, the self-preservation of the white race. In an email to Fox 5, the group described itself this way. They added their own parenthesis around the word white. Quote, the LS is a Southern nationalist group representing the traditionalist white men and women of Dixie. We are for the survival, well-being, and independence of Southern, parentheses, white people. We are not a hate group, but rather a love group. That is, we love and seek to protect our own families and people, just as Christ taught us to do, end quote. Grantville will allow the Georgia League of the South to hold its rally, scheduled for October 8th, but the city has proposed the group use a side street, so it won't interfere with, among other things, traffic and fire trucks. What do you know about the family's reaction to this? The family called me. They do not want to be involved with this group. Dorothy Dow was the 83-year-old grandmother who was brutally attacked and set on fire during a robbery attempt in her Meriwether County home in August. She later died of her injuries. On their Facebook page, the Georgia League of the South posted comments about the race of the victim and the race of the suspects. In a telephone conversation with Fox 5, Chairman Tom Davis said, if white people were setting a black woman on fire, this would make national news. I also talked with Philip Dow, who is Dorothy Dow's son who said he and his family do not want this group to use their name and her death to further their agenda. She would not want that. In Granville, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.